here's your first alert forecast with meteorologist Barrett Phillips. Well, Barrett, as I take a sneak peek at your orange oh, map yeah. over there, I see a cross 90, 90, 90, just right across the state. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're seeing temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s, just depending on your location. We'll go ahead and take a look at the temperatures. We have 89 at the airport, 90 the high today at the airport, so we did get into the low 90s. And then speaking of low 90s, as uh, uh, Tara mentioned earlier, from Altus to Vernon, temperatures in the low 90s, 92 the warm spot in Vernon. We do have a cool spot at Chickasha, though, at 84 degrees, more mid mid 80s for eastern areas as the dew points are a little bit higher in those areas. But uh, if you combine the tip, uh, dew point of 50 degrees with the temperatures near 90 degrees, it is pretty dry out there. Real humidity is between 25 to 30 percent pretty comparable to what they were yesterday. And what that means for you is that you're probably going to be wearing a sweat or at least a long sleeve shirt in the morning hours and then you'll trade that in for a short sleeve shirt for the next several afternoons. Anyways, We'll take a look at our area. You notice that we're seeing high pressure dominating our area, giving us plenty of sunshine and dry conditions. And looking to the east, this right here is actually what they're still calling post-tropical cyclone um, Helene, which basically just means that it's transitioning from a tropical cyclone to a mid-latitude cyclone. You do notice the rainfall trying to get its way further to the west, but it's not going to succeed in getting into our area. But what will ex or, or what should succeed is a little bit of cloud coverage. So you notice a mid-latitude cyclone here, or at least that transition anyways. You do notice it does look more like a mid-latitude cyclone than anything tropical. You notice the rain fall on the back side of it, even some heavier thunderstorm activity on the right side of the storm system there. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at the post-tropical cyclone. You do notice that uh, it's still moving to the north-northwest at about 17 miles per hour and the pressure is starting to rise. It's about uh, 984 millibar. So the pressure has been rising for about the last 24 hours or so. But you just notice a swath of rainfall here here on the back side of it as it makes that transition from tropical to uh, mid-latitude, but uh, nonetheless, it's just going to meander around this area for the next couple of days, continuing to give them some cloud coverage and rainfall across the area. And speaking of the cloud coverage, it does look like some of this cloud coverage will back in to southwest Oklahoma, at least to a degree on your Saturday. So we'll take a look at the drought monitor. This right here is the latest. It actually was surveyed on Tuesday, released yesterday. I'll show it again today in case you didn't see it yesterday, but you notice that the rainfall that we got earlier this week really just didn't do much to put a dent in the things. At least things didn't get worse, so that's good. They would have gotten worse if it wasn't for the rainfall, but you notice uh, severe to extreme drought conditions for 90 plus percent of southwest Oklahoma stretching in north central Texas. Maybe the drought gets a little bit milder once you go to the Graham area and the uh, Throckmorton and Haskell County areas. But anyways, We'll take a look at tomorrow. Mostly clear skies starting out. Temperatures in the upper 50s. We're near 80 by 11 a.m. Mostly clear skies become partly cloudy-like. Once again, more clouds the further east you are, more clear skies the further west you are. But along I-44, I'm thinking more partly cloudy conditions. Maybe breezy at times in the afternoon hours north at 15. Temperatures near 90 for the next several days. After we get past tomorrow, we're talking plenty of sunshine, dry conditions as well. As we roll into next week, you know, notice that uh, we're going to see a cool front come through early on Tuesday, set temperatures, really not letting them get too out of control. But on Thursday, they will get a little bit warmer temperatures in the low to mid 90s, 10% chance of activity possible next Friday.